Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and today we are doing the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride in Clonmel. It's a little bit loud right now. Really good turnout, uh, all things considered. A socially distanced turned out, of course. And I'm actually really looking forward to doing the route. Um, I will have the route we did up on Riser later, if you'd like to see where we went. Also, to, to, to start off, I suppose, we are in Clonmel right now. We're leaving, leaving Clonmel. I don't have a, a super cool helmet or anything. To go with my magnets, I love my my basic, basic, basic helmet. So I'll have to get a cool one for next time. Also, one of the coolest bikes here is right in front of me. It's uh, owned by Seamus of Freeman Motorcycles, and it's um, it is an old, old, proper, proper hardtail chopper. I'll throw up a picture on screen. So yeah, you, you, you've never seen me in a suit before, I would imagine, on the channel, and you probably won't really ever see me in a suit again. I'm not fond of suits. Um, so enjoy it. <laughs> It's weird, I haven't been on a group ride in so, so long because of COVID things, you know? So it's nice, it's nice to get out and meet some new people. Get to ride my motorbike. Look at that shot, it's so low to the crown. You can't lean it at all. It's also like, <laughs> it's like one of the nicest days we could have gotten for this. So it's, uh, it's cool, it's cool to do this. And you know, I'm really happy at the moment uh, with my camera setups. 360 cam and all this stuff so it's just it's a nice to be able to go out in a spin throw the 360 cam on not worry about trying to look around and stuff just you know enjoying myself and then being able to kind of have a sconce around and get everything sorted afterwards uh, i'd say lots of clan mill is very very pretty and like they're surrounded by like some of the prettiest parts of ireland with the mountains and stuff which I will, I will say, I am ashamed to say that I never really realised before because I never really came down to Clonmel much so it's nice to kind of, you know, get that get that experience get that experience, get that, that group ride with lots of very nice people like look in front of us, right? when we come up over through here, just, just have a look so look at that view, look at that view ahead of us Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, the man up there with uh, on the, the really nice Triumph uh, Scrambler with the uh, 360 cam hang hanging off the back. That's Cyril Helen Wine. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, he's one of the he's with the co-host of this event today. So go give him a follow on Instagram. I will leave his his link in, in his link his link his the link to his Instagram profile uh, in the description, and also to the other co-host, uh, Ko Koji Helmwein. I think that's how you say their second name. If I'm butchering it, I do apologize. But two lovely people. Um, Koji obviously was uh, the human who I've mentioned before, who you know got me into uh, into Freeman to do some bike reviews, which is you know obviously super super awesome. And Seamus on the really cool chopper then is the owner of Freeman who obviously also let me take you know the bikes that he owns and is going to be selling um, out so you know really just good people all around and you know the last group ride I was on was actually with um, Franklin the day I picked up my CBF and we did a uh, you know another charity ride up there which you know, they, those are the kind of the, the, the rides I like to do, is the charity ones. Now, I also want to say, while we're doing this, and it's so pretty out here and sunny, and like, honestly, could not have asked for a better day. 
Um, massive, massive, massive thank you to everyone who did donate to my Distinguished Gentleman's Ride profile. Very, very much appreciated. You know, without, without donations like yours, events like this, you know, not that there wouldn't be a point to them per se, but the whole point of them is to raise money, you know, to support, in this case, you know, men's mental health, prostate cancer, cancer in general, you know, and lots, lots of other different, if you want to see everything, just look up um, distinguishedgentlemansride.com, I'll leave a link in the description for that too. But you know, they're all really good causes, and these type of things, without people, you know, donating, donating however much of their hard-earned cash, and you know, and I always, I always say like the smallest amount makes a difference because if if a thousand people give one euro each, that's a thousand euro. That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. And you might think that oh, if I only donate a euro, you know, it makes no difference. But if everyone who donated thought like that, ah, stones, don't hit me with stones, uh, then obviously things like this wouldn't be able to exist. So look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. That is gorgeous. So don't think like that anyway. Is my is my very long to get to point is whatever whatever you can donate, it all makes a difference. It all adds up. It's all important. And so everyone who did donate to me and to anyone who's taken part of the distinguished gentleman's ride, thank you very much. Now I'm just gonna stay quiet and put some music over some of this spin. There goes Cyril. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's risking it all to get good footage, and I can appreciate that. Not that I not, not that I risked it all to get good footage, uh, but I appreciate someone trying to get good footage. <laughs> Dirt bikes, look at this view. <laughs> oh wow. Cyril Koji, whichever one of you picked this route, whichever one of you put it together. High five amigos. That is absolutely beautiful. And it's a lovely road as well. Pretty good road surface. Ah spins don't get a whole pile better than this. Especially when you're a bit bruised and beaten up and sore like me, which, uh, yeah, if you watch the channel, you know why I, I may have, uh, I may have crashed the jigster ever so slightly. <laughs> oh, these things happen. But today is like, uh, this is the day after I crashed the jigster, by the way, because the timeline will be off for everyone else, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> this is this is a pretty good medicine to that, to be honest. Couldn't, couldn't get a whole pile better than going out in a spin on a bike that makes me smile every time on a beautiful sunny day. Ah, oh, I love bikes. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I don't know if there's something wrong with me that I love them so much, but this is just, it's funny, right? If like when I'm out for spins like this and they come to an end, I'm like, I don't want it to be over though, and that's. That's like every time I go out and ride a bike, I just, I want to keep going. I want to keep, I want to go. I want to just keep going. <laughs> Pure and simple, that's just, that's how it is. Maybe one day I'll be able to do that, we'll see. Ooh, I'll have to come back here and maybe fly a drone over that, although, yeah, I'm gonna have to come back here. 
Ard Ard Finan, I think it was called. I'll have to look it up. So, so beautiful. And this is the thing about Ireland, right? To go off topic of this, the distinguished gentleman's right a little bit. Um, Ireland just has so many places like this, like small, beautiful towns that the only way you'll find them is by being from the area or just riding around and looking at stuff. So that's why I ride around and look at stuff so much. That is why. That is why. Look at that. Beautiful. That that bike is one of my like full-on dream bikes. So nice. This is super juke. Look at that wall. I like walls. I like stone walls. I don't know why. They're nice. I also like that KTM. I really like that KTM. <laughs> That's a cool castle. Very, very, very cool. I'll have to come back here as well. See so can I sneakily fly a drone. Seems to be a stopping point. All the pretty bikes. <laughs> when, he, when he revved the gate in, it was like someone slapped me with air. Now, we'll have a quick, a quick look see at some of these bikes. So, there you go, there's some of them. There are more coming, I do believe. And we're back at it again, moving on. That was the uh, first stop, which was a very nice little stop there, even though I didn't get any coffee around it, I, just, I didn't feel like it today for some reason. Some seriously nice bikes out here today. My personal favourite being that KTM and also uh, Cyril's Scrambler 1200, Triumph Scrambler 1200, which is absolutely gorgeous. And actually, in fairness, uh, Koji's uh, T T120 is absolutely beautiful as well. I, I actually, uh, something weird has happened to me and I really, really like Triumphs now, like a lot. Not that I never didn't like them, I just never liked them as much as I do now. Oh well. <laughs> I might just have to buy myself a Triumph. Look at that view. Beautiful. I'm getting, I'm getting the gentleman behind me now on this, this chopper on the 360 cam good. Cyril again on his class bike now I don't know what you all be able to see in the distance I hope you can but up there is the rock of Cashel uh, which I've gone to many 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 moons ago uh, uh, in a video but I didn't have a drone or anything in, so I really must go back and also I wasn't even comfortable like I didn't even walk around in there and make a video because I was just I was just, I, t I, I just wasn't comfortable at the time even talking in front of people. Now I care a lot less. <laughs> That's one thing YouTube has done for me, but I must go back there as well. And it's really cool, it's really cool coming in here, because Cashel is, is um, obviously with the Rocket Cashel being here, you would have had all the little tributary, you know, things that would have supplied that, so that obviously would have given you a town. 
Um, so you have all these other old stone walls and, and, and you know buildings and whatnot. There's a lot of old stuff here and I just think it's really 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 cool. So hopefully we'll we'll get close enough to the rocky castle itself so you can have a a little a little look at it. If you can't though, I will come back. So then up here as well, like you've this old old stone, I don't know, is it a, is it a tower house or what it is now, but it um it's class, uh, you know, there's lots of old stone stuff here and obviously newer stuff that's just in keeping with the the aesthetic of the town, but just cool stuff. Oh, it's a hotel now, there you go. That's pretty cool. Seamus' bike is class. <laughs> I just realised it says stop on his brake light. <laughs> nice. So now I believe we're going down to the rock itself. obviously making a stop here which is pretty cool so there it is in all its absolutely amazing glory the rocket cache look at all the birds flying around like the rocket cache has to has to be one of the coolest things i've ever seen in my life it is it is absolutely breathtakingly cool especially the history of it as well with it okay so i know i'm going to lose the gopro at some point soon um I'll try to finish off the video on another camera if, if that does happen. But hopefully, hopefully it'll last until the end. We're nearly there as far as I know. So uh, we shall see, time will tell. Once again, I'm gonna commend the organizers on the route selection. This road is class. This whole bit is deadly now here. And, you know, you have the mountains up over there. <laughs> Beautiful. Just a pity. It's a pity that the uh, the group is slowish in places. Um, otherwise, we could we could probably have a a hell of a lot of fun on this particular road. Anyway, I'll have to come back this way myself and enjoy it. Bike sounds class on flyboys. I do. I must say, now the GoPro is dead. Sorry, GoPro RIP. Uh, so hopefully you're still getting 360 cam footage, and also obviously the Osmo looking at my. Mm, I can't even lie and say stunning visage. It's 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 not. But the important thing is, we've made it to the end of the ride. Pretty much, I think. I think this is where we're finishing. Feathered. So, um, while I still have you all, I must say thank you very much to uh, Koji and Cyril again for organising. It uh, was was great. <laughs> it was great getting out, meeting new people. You know, going for spins. And yeah, just in general, you know, get getting out and about in a group. Like, 
you know, I, I've said before, I'm not a massive fan of group rides because of uh, the pace of them, and you know, you can't just kind of set your own pace. But yeah, no, still, still great to get out, great to meet new people, great to go for a spin with them. And it's a real pity you can't see. I'm so sorry, I forgot a second, uh, a second battery uh, for the GoPro. But look, that's the way it goes sometimes. It's not like I don't have plenty of spares, it's just that I, uh, I brought my leg bag because um, I don't want to carry a backpack. That's just how I am. So I forgot to bring an extra battery. But look to your right, or you know, the, the 360 camera if you look, and there's another big castle-y thing with a church on the inside, I think. So I'll have to come back and have a look at this one too.